made him who knew no sin. Possibly the most outstanding thing about Jesus Christ that is often overlooked is this. He knew no sin. He had no affiliation with sin. So unlike us, you and I were born in sin. In the book of Job, we understand that depraved men, they drink down iniquity like it was water. We are friends with sin. We walk hand in hand with sin. And yet, he had no affiliation with sin, no friendship. Never did he once walk together with sin. He was perfect in all his ways. Now, oftentimes when we think about sin, as it is defined in many of the confessions, that sin is lack of conformity to the law of God, which is the standard of God's righteousness for us. So when we think that Jesus had no sin, we oftentimes think to ourselves, he perfectly obeyed the law of God. And that's true. That's very true. But I want to take it a little bit farther to show you how magnificent his obedience truly, truly was. One time I, I had the, I guess you could say, the privilege of speaking to a man who was given to perfectionism. He was a part of that denomination or those group of churches that believed that a saint on this earth can become absolutely perfect and sinless. And after talking to him, I found out that the reason why he believed that is because he had redefined sin. So I looked at him and I asked him this question. I said, what do you suppose would be the greatest sin a man could commit? And he said, well, I don't know. I never thought about it that way. And I said, could it be breaking the greatest commandment that God ever gave? And he said, well, I suppose. And I said, well, what is that command? To love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then I asked him, have you done that? And there I had him trapped. Because if he says no, he has sinned. And if he says yes, he has blasphemed. To say that he gave God all the love that God merits is blasphemy. Now, I want you to think about something. There has never been one second, and I mean that literally, not one second millisecond in all of human history not once in all of human history not even for a fraction of a second has anyone ever loved the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, mind and strength now we're, we have 7 billion people plus on this planet right now and if you add it all up back to Adam how many billions of people have walked on this planet and not for even one fraction of a second has any one of them loved the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, mind and strength and yet Jesus Christ, every second of his life, he loved the Lord his God with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength. He did throughout his entire life what no one else in humanity had ever done for even a second now do you begin to appreciate a little bit more of what it means when it says he knew no sin? That he was perfectly obedient. Now I want you to look at something else about Jesus Christ. It says that he, the writer of Hebrews tells us that he was tempted in all things. Just like us. And because of that, he can be a sympathetic, compassionate high priest. That he was tempted in all things. Now, that's true, but when people read that, they, they're not really comprehending what's going on here, what it's actually saying. And let me try to give it to you in something of an illustration. It was like a tiny fraction of temptation can be laid upon us, and we fall, we collapse. Multiply that infinitely. That is what was thrown against Christ. Not equal with what was required to collapse us. No, infinitely beyond what was required to collapse us was thrown upon Christ and he still stood. 
He fought what no man has ever fought. 